Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Of course, let's address the elephant in the room. I cut my hair. I'm gonna be talking about that later in the video. It's actually very risky for me to be filming this video right now because <laughs> The baby is taking a nap and so, well not even taking a nap, I can hear that he's up. So you might hear some like knocking or singing. That's him trying to go to sleep. This is not my average intro. The first thing I want to say is thank you. Especially if you are a subscriber, maybe you've been following me for a while now. Maybe you follow me on Instagram or maybe you're in my newsletter. However you've chosen to support me, thank you because we are now at over 10,000 subscribers and I don't think I've had the chance to really say that on this channel yet but we're at 10,000 subscribers which to me to me <laughs> that's a lot that's a lot of human beings who decided to press that button and subscribe or like the videos and just continue to share with me you know their feedback or how my channel has helped them if you're new here if you're just now stumbling across me my name's Ayana I'm a licensed massage therapist. I'm an esthetician, a spa owner, a mom, a YouTuber. I do a lot. <laughs> I'm also a coach and consultant for spa owners and yeah, I just wanted to make this video to thank you all and then also just share some life updates. So go ahead and get your water. I mean, I have some water right here. I'm actually standing for this video because I feel like it's gonna help me get the energy I need. And I noticed that all the notes that I had for this video have been accidentally deleted. So I'm just gonna go off the top of my head. How I want to start this is first of all, I wanna share kind of what I learned from 2023 and where we're going in 2024 and some major life changes that I'm going through that may affect this channel, may affect my content and just fill you in on what's been going on like in the business, in my life. I can be very particular about what I share on the internet obviously because that's really important to me but I know we're family here, we have a community growing and so I know that this is a judgment-free zone. 2023, wow. 2023 was a very jam-packed year. This was the year that I really learned what it means to be consistent, especially consistent when it comes to showing up on social media, um, showing up in my business, showing up for my team members, showing up for myself, <laughs> showing up for my family and it really gave me a lot of insight to where I want to go. You ever like plan out your life and you think you have an idea of where you want to go with it, but then you come across experiences and it just changes it completely. That's essentially where I am right now. In fact, I don't want to talk even too much about 2023 because I want to be forward facing. I want to look forward. One thing I will say about 2023 is that it showed me some of the blind spots that I had in my business. So in my spot, business it showed me what I need to work on in 2024 and I'm still processing <laughs> around this time last year I created like a 2022 year in review type of video and I actually enjoyed that type of video I went like month by month talking about the different wins and setbacks that I have for the month that's not what I'm gonna do in this video and those of you who are in my newsletter so if you've subscribed to my newsletter you know that I share you know updates like behind the scenes of what I'm gonna be doing differently in the next year, like things that I wanna change around. So I've kinda of already talked about that and I've talked about it in some lives and I'm sure I will in some future lives. What I really wanna talk about is 2024 and offer some updates. It's gonna come out with the first thing, which is I cut my hair. So I did, I did, I love it. Like, let me tell you, the confidence has skyrocketed. <laughs> It has completely skyrocketed since I cut my hair and I finally got my glasses. Y'all will not believe this, but I was actually supposed to go ahead and fill my prescription for my glasses back in 2020 and I did, but I lost them and I never refilled them like since 2020. That was four years ago. I finally got them. 
So my sister-in-law gave me these frames. I love it. But yes, I cut my hair. I want to talk a little bit about that. And I was on the fence on if I would talk about what happened with my hair because it's not really a lifestyle channel. I really talk about like business strategy and tutorials, things like that. But I want to talk about it because for me, my hair had a lot of spiritual significance and it really represented something. I'm the type of person I can assign meaning to any Thing. and my hair was one of them and so I have been thinking about it since June of 2023 I've been thinking about it like this voice kept talking to me like just saying you know let go like that was really the theme of 2023 especially the latter part of the year is letting go and starting over another theme was this idea of fear and what holds me back a lot of times from doing anything is often fear and that's another thing I wanted to let go of and one of the things I I was afraid to do was cut my hair and I believe the reason for that was because I've assigned so much meaning and so much of my identity to it and I've assigned a lot of my memories like my memories of even when I first locked my hair when I started growing my hair I assigned a lot of memories to that to the person that I used to be before this channel before the business before all that I locked actually I wouldn't say right after school it was like 2018 so it wasn't right after school. It was like 2018, 2019 is when I officially locked it. But what my hair really represented was survival, being in survival mode. One of the reasons that I locked it, besides like some of the spiritual reasons why I did, was because honestly, I could not really afford to be getting my hair done. I could not afford the time of doing my hair. Of course, I did have some locticians, but it just was the most low maintenance thing I could think of because before them, it would take me two hours to just put my hair in a ponytail because my hair was so long before I started my lock. When I think about that time in my life, I just think about surviving, just surviving, just getting through the day, just getting through the work day, just really just keeping my head above water. That's what it reminds me of. And now that I'm in a space where I feel like I am thriving and coming into my own and reinventing myself and reinventing my identity and like really questioning my identity in some ways and really like solidifying the pieces of my identity, it just did not serve me anymore. And I cannot be afraid to let go of things that don't serve me anymore, whether that's people, whether that's, you know, things that I own, like my hair, whether that's it could be anything. That's part of the reason why the hair had to go. Honestly, I love it. I feel more of myself again, but not just myself, but like I'm stepping into who I am now. Like it almost feels like starting over. Another inspiration for cutting my hair is honestly looking at my child, like looking at my baby and being like, when you're first born, some babies don't have any hair. My baby didn't have any hair. When I was first born, I had like zero hair. <laughs> And I'm stepping in this space where I feel like I'm being reborn in some ways. It was just an act of really just starting over, starting fresh, starting anew and letting go of the old identity, things that I've clung to my identity in the past. Another thing I'll say about this, about my hair, is that it was one of the first decisions that I didn't ask anyone about. Before this, or what used to be a part of my identity was asking for validation for things or receiving validations for things, like, oh girl, what you think? Like, should I like do this? Like, no, we're not doing that anymore. We're stepping into a, a grown woman era. I mean, I'm obviously a grown woman, but like, it's starting to, <laughs> truly feel like it for real for real for real for real so yeah so that's why i did it again i love it like i wish i had done it sooner everything in divine timing but this is me like this is oh i love it next thing that i wanted to talk about so more life update stuff especially things that will affect how I post content and my time. So this year of 2024 is going to be a year where I have to be so on top of my time, like so on top of my time. And the reason for that is because I am going back to school, which I'm so excited about. And I'm, I haven't even said that out loud. Like it's a breath of fresh air to be able to say out loud, that I am excited to go back 
to school. I am going to nursing school. I'm going back to nursing school and I haven't really shared with a whole lot of people. Y'all are really the first ones to truly know. I haven't even told a lot of my family. I haven't told quite a few of my friends don't know that I'm going back to school. It's been something I've been kind of keeping to myself because I'm also trying to process the fact that I'm going back to school. Let me tell you why I'm going back to school. When I was pregnant and I was starting my business, I was also finishing some prereqs from nursing, like prereqs for going into a nursing program because even after massage school, and y'all know the story, after massage school, I thought I would go back to nursing school because honestly, I didn't know how long I would last in the massage industry when I was working for different spas and clinics and things like that. So I figured I might as well like finish my prereqs so I have the option to go to nursing school if I ever wanted to. Now, I feel like this is really the perfect time. I already went back for esthetician school and I shared some of that journey. So now I'm an esthetician and a massage therapist. But now that I see the direction of where my clientele is going and where my, my spa business is going, the vision that I see is that True Massage and Body Work, and I don't know if I'll keep the name, <laughs> that's another thing. This business, it is looking like it's going to be a med spa. And one of the ways that I can add to my legitimacy and you know add to my professionalism or further my professionalism is to go back to school and truly, truly become an expert on the body and taking care of others. I am really fascinated by the prospect of becoming a nurse and incorporating it into the aesthetic world and then incorporating it into the spa world. So y'all probably see the vision by now. I have all this experience in the spa world world. I have experience with helping people with their spa businesses. I have experience with managing my team. I have experiences with being in a day spa setting and understanding aesthetics, especially with the work that I'm doing, which is lymphatic drainage, especially for post-op. And I'm just noticing that there's a gap in some services that I could be offering, especially for my post-op clients or even my body contouring clients. And so becoming a nurse, it will just open up the scope for my practice. And even right now in my business, I am forming relationships with different surgeons, different doctors, other healthcare professionals. And so I just feel supported enough to just go ahead and get this nursing degree and see how it changes my business, see how it changes my clients, see how it changes my services and really get into this med spa business because the med spa business is growing and it's not that different from, you know, day spa or facial spa. A lot of facial spas and aesthetic practices are med spa practices so that's the route that I'm going that's the route that I'm seeing I've made my decision I'm going for it I see nothing else and so with that said, my schedule is about to be crazy because I still have one-on-one -on -one clients. So I still have, you know, spa owners that I'm working with one-on-one -on -one virtually. And then I also have Spa Biz Success. So that's the coaching program I've been running for about now two years. And so I'm doing that on a bi-weekly basis. Well, really that's a daily basis, the things I have to do to keep up with that. And then I'm gonna be doing my own schooling. So going back to school, studying, eventually they have it to where I'll be also working in the hospitals as well, clinicals. So imagine, you know, massage clinicals, but I'll be in the hospital. So some time is gonna be spent there. There's also, you know, I have to show up for my son, of course, and show up for my household. And just things are gonna be different. Like my time is gonna be different. I'd still wanna, of course, make time for fun, make time for content, make time for a lot of different things. But I know my first priority is getting through school and excelling. And honestly, I wasn't sure if I was going to share that I was going to go to nursing school because you know what if I don't do good or what if I'm gonna fail I really had to catch that thinking because I am gonna do well I am I really really am I'm just going to affirm it I'm going to do well I'm gonna do what it takes and really apply myself and not make any excuses and make the time and it's going to challenge me to get even better with my time management skills my scheduling skills and it also means that i'm going to have to expand the spa because i'm not going to be able to take appointments like i do now and it's not even that i take appointments a lot in 2023 i was at the spa maybe like three to four times a week if that but now it's about to go down to about mm, one to twice a week or none at all in fact 
to one of my goals is to get out of the treatment room almost altogether, but that's difficult because I do have clients that just only come to me and I don't really want to do that to them. So I don't really know. I don't know about that. But what I do know is that I'm going to have to hire. I'm going to have to hire quite a few people to help me keep up with the workload, especially now that we're advertising more and really focus on getting new clients because we have new services. And there's just a lot of different initiatives at the spa that I am still really focused on. So honestly, this is what I'm good at. I'm good at multitasking. That's what I've at least been telling myself. And I know I seem like cool, calm, collected, truly on the inside, if I'm being completely honest, I feel a little bit nervous, but I'm trying to face that nervousness by just affirming to myself that I got this. I can get through anything if I believe in myself. And I do believe in myself because I have to. If I don't, <laughs> it doesn't matter if anyone else does. If I don't, I'm just really focused on kind of the big picture of where this will take me. I'm really inspired by uh, creators such as Fatima Francesca. She's a person who inspires me. There's this other account that inspires me. She owns a body contouring business and is also going back to nursing school. So yeah, this is what I want to do. I'm already in the nursing group chat. So I will be graduating July of 2025, but it's gonna be a lot of work. It's gonna be a lot of work. So that's really the life update is I'm going back to school. And so I may not be doing lives as often as I was before. And I'm trying to ask myself, can I really keep up with posting every single week? Could it be enough to post every other week? Could that be enough? And call that me being consistent? If I was just posting every other week and just like maybe posting on social media more? I don't know. I really have to see. I actually start school. At the time I'm filming this, I start school in two days. <sighs> I've just been really trying to map out how I'm going to handle my time. Because again, I have to make sure I'm doing certain things in the household. I might not be cooking every single night. One of the things that I'm looking to do before I hire is just create more systems and processes for everything that we're doing. So basically prepare the spa as if we're like about to franchise or something. Another thing that I'm working on for 2024 is making sure that I can still deliver my manual and fat drainage training. We did a pilot of the training in 2023 and we're still waiting to get it approved. That's in the works. Hopefully by the time that I post this video that will officially be approved to have, you know, our own certification. And yeah, and this is really a year for me to also build relationships. So I know some of the relationships I'm trying to build is with different massage schools to have the curriculum that I have in Spa with Success be a part of different massage schools. Because one of the things that I hear a lot from my students is that <laughs> they wish that they would have had that information or that curriculum in their school. And so that's another thing that I'm trying to work on. Thankfully, I do have a great team, a team that is here to support me, support me, you know, as I go to school as I work on the business as I you know try to be the best mom that I can be and the best person that I can be and so I'm thankful for that I really really am um, I have a great you know manager business manager who essentially helps with all the operations helps manage my virtual assistant helps manage some of my team members and I also have a great video editor I have two video editors now and a social media virtual assistant so I think even with that team like it's not a huge team of course i think i i will have the capacity to do what i need to do and i'm just going to have to delegate a lot more and i'm just going to have to be very 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 strict with my time because my time is very very important <laughs> it's very important and it's very limited another update i wanted to share is so in 2023 i decided that my business needs to have a product so i wanted to get a little bit into e-commerce and so I have a business partner that I've known for a long, long time. We had never been business partners before, but we had talked about it. We had talked about being business partners. Um, you've actually seen her on this channel. I have a interview with her. She's also a six figure spa owner. You can probably go back through my videos and find it. Her name's Michaela. And we've decided to sign a contract together to go into a joint venture business. And we are going to be launching a product. 
So I am very excited about that, very excited about launching the product in 2024. Don't wanna to say too much about it yet, but of course, as I learn about the e-commerce world and the retail world, of course, I'm gonna be sharing all the things that I learned with you all on this channel. I'm also gonna be sharing what I learned with my Bob is Success students. So if you're you know, alumni or a current student, I'll definitely be adding that to the curriculum, the things that I learned from this joint venture. I'm super excited about it because we're both so motivated. Again, we're both spot owners. So it's like we get each other on a, <laughs> on a different level. And usually I don't like working with anyone. I don't like working with anyone. I'm kind of like, not that I don't like working with anyone, but it's easier to just count on me to get things done when it comes to business, unless I literally hire someone to work for me. But in this partnership, it doesn't feel weighed down. It feels very like equal. It feels like you know, we both have strengths and weaknesses that we bring to the table that make it work. And I remember telling her like, you know, we're basically getting married. They say when you have a business partner, it's like being married to someone in a way. And I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with that. But I'm very excited to launch this product. It's gonna be a separate business. It's a separate business from True Massage. So essentially started a new business. But yeah, I'm just very excited about it. Very excited to be going into this joint venture, starting another business. But we're still, in the launch phases, so like preparing. I'll be sharing the launch date with y'all well before we launch. Right now we're doing most of like the legal paperwork stuff, but soon we'll be moving into the fun stuff, which is social media and promoting and marketing and meeting with, you know, the people that she's met. That's another thing because she's a spot owner. Like we kind of share each other's team. For example, we're using my accountant, we're using my lawyer and we're using her marketing people and her SEO people. And it's kind of like we get to share our resources. So that's something I'm super excited about. I do want to post more life update videos videos like this, not even just life update videos, but like real talk. Maybe we can call them true talks. Do y'all like that idea? Calling them true talks? Really looking forward to what 2024 has in store. I'm trying to be optimistic. I'm trying to, you know, make sure I make time for myself and make time for my own self care. Make sure that I'm still getting, let's say massages or facials or just time to be in nature, time to reflect, time to journal. One of the hobbies that I picked up in 2023 is reading books. So reading like finally getting back into fiction. I used to feel so guilty for reading fiction because it just, sometimes I would read fiction and I feel like, okay, I, I could be learning something. Cause you don't learn a lot from fiction. I mean, you can learn from like the themes and like the motifs <laughs> that are, you know, presented in literature. Yeah, I don't know, but it's fun. It's fun, it's especially like thrillers and stuff like that. But yeah, I really appreciate every single one of you who follow me, follow this channel and like, like the direction it's going in. I think the last thing I'll share is where I think the channel is going in. So part of me wants to rename this channel to my name because I do want to post more, not lifestyle stuff per se, but more beauty, more esthetician type of stuff, like things that relate to the world of spa, but also beauty and aesthetics and things like that. So that's something I'm still working through and thinking about. I know for a fact I will share more literal like tutorials, like technique tutorials and skincare tutorials. So that's another thing I'll be doing on this channel. But of course, if you have any ideas of content that you wanna see, I always open it. I open it in the comments below, but yeah, yeah, all I ask is for y'all's support as I go on this journey. Let me know if you do want to be a part of the nursing journey. Let me know what we think about this, like how we're feeling about this. I would love to hear your thoughts on that. I would love to make some vlogs of what it's like to be a spa owner and a nursing student who is trying to revamp into a med spa. So just let me know. And I really do appreciate each and every one of you, especially if you're watching right now, you made it to the end of this video. I truly appreciate you. I truly appreciate you for subscribing, for following my content, sending me your messages about how much my content has helped you, giving me ideas for future content, liking the videos for the algorithm, supporting the products that I have out there. Hope that you enjoyed this life update video and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.